terms of the the whole water thing, like, like I said, one, one of the most really interesting things that is sort of seeping its way through the conscious community, and I think a lot of the people who are tuned into the show, I would say literally almost 90% of the people who are tuned into the show at this point are aware or have heard of the studies of Dr. Emoto. And this is the studies of how water has memory, how water is affected by vibration. Vibra- vi- Sorry, by vibrations. And the idea that if you were to project love towards water, it holds on to that and it crystallizes the shapes of the water co- of the water particles differently than opposed to if you project like fear and hate, in which it sort of creates this chaos pattern that sort of destabilizes the, the structure of the particles, which in themselves, when they are stabilized, when they are coming from a pa- place of love, is this very geometrical, uh, sacred geometrical pattern. You know, you see patterns that are very reminiscent of the Star of David, uh, you know, if you want to, or, or the Metatron cube, if you want to think about it that way, and they're very symmetrical in that sense. So, I mean, it gets into this really interesting idea of if water is something that holds on to memory, and then you get into the idea of, of our thoughts actually being able to project these emotions, then it gets into this idea of how much our bodies are actually consciously being programmed by the thoughts that we're projecting out there. So, I mean, again, there's obviously lots to talk about there, but yeah, just sort of using that as a jumping off point as we continue the conversation of why water is awesome and anything else that we would just want to branch off into. But yeah, Drew, go, go ahead, man. What, what do you think? Why is water awesome to you? Um, I think, like, if you look at, like, I don't know, the structure of water and, like, just how it works and everything, it, it kind of, like, mimics the way, like, everything works in this reality in a way. Like, for example, if you get into, like, the, the whole, like, ripple effect thing, like, essentially that's the way, like, everything works, I guess. Like, and if you look at water, like, if you look at the skies, it's blue and it's because it, like, the earth's so water-based, essentially, and, like, I feel like it's a reflection, like, it's water reflecting, and that's, you get what I mean? Like, it's the reflection of water that makes the skies blue. And then, like, yeah, like you were saying with uh, Dr. Emoto's research and everything, like, like with the, the individual drops and everything, like, and you factor in that we're 97% water and everything, like, yeah, it's pretty much, you, yeah, it was a good opening point. But, uh, like, with me, it's just, like, I don't know. Like, I I tend to get into, like, the Bruce Lee philosophy of, like, be water, my friend, just because, like, mm-hmm. I'm, I have a really big martial arts background. But, like, once you once you take those teachings of his and, like, apply it and, like, really look at it everywhere in your life, like, it's really pretty true. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, for example, like, uh, like, in martial arts, if you if you focus on one style, you, like, become only that one style and then you limit yourself that one style whereas water takes all forms like it can take any form it can be like it can be a large big waterfall that like crashes really hard or it can just like erode something away like really smoothly like a river just over time and like do things patiently i guess and then like it's always flowing it's always moving so essentially if you if you keep yourself in a constant state of motion rather than just like locking yourself in your room all day like you're then making yourself that much healthier and that much more like aware of like what's going on in the world versus like what you see on TV and shit or crap and like <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm not, um but like yeah um trying to think where to go from here like so much to talk about really like um just like I- I, I was going to say, if you, I'll just jump in off, off here right. if you don't mind. I think um, yeah. what, what you're talking about, like the whole like Bruce Lee philosophy, again, like a lot of people have heard this before, uh, even just sort of like here and there, the whole idea of like be water. The thing that that really is fascinating out, out of the, that observation is the idea that like water is not simply just like a, a particle. It's not just like an element, but water in itself is actually a teacher which I think is amazing because there's when you think about it this way, like anything, anything throughout reality is a t- 
teacher. There's something that it can teach us. There's something about its behavior that, like you said, is, 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 is mimicking or not even mimicking, but reflecting the entire existence of reality. It, it sort of it's, it's, it has a property to it that can teach us something, which I think, you know, we're not even going too far off the topic, but when you talk about things like spirit animals and stuff like that, a lot of people talk about, you know, they, they say they resonate with this animal or with that animal. I think what I sort of try and bring it back to is the idea, for example, I say I resonate with the wolf, which actually is associated with water, I will say. And the the idea is, is that when I'm saying that, I, I'm saying that, like, I'm not just saying that I am the wolf, but I'm saying that I see the wolf as my teacher. What is there that the wolf can teach me? So in that sense, it's, you're, you're looking to water. What is there that the water can teach us? And again, like, you, obviously, Bruce Lee says, you know, like, the water can form to any shape. It can crash. It can flow. And, and I actually do have that clip of Bruce Lee uh, synced up within our soundboard. And we'll, and we'll play that a little bit later in a